the ambition when designing Kaika was to to make a backpack with a lot of functionality and features, but in a kind of a simple way. And um, I had Konken as a clear inspiration, and I really liked the way that there is a uh, very high usability and, and functionality and an ease of use and that you have this big front opening that you can uh, totally open it up. It has been the same material since Konkan was launched in 1978 and, and Kaika is made in the same fabric and we know from all the time in, in the field how it wears with some use. Fjellhaven uh, was started in uh, 1960 by a then 24-year-old guy called uh, Åke Nordin, who ran the, the, the company. He had started already 10 years before that, making a wooden frame and, the, and the, the first backpack when he was 14 years old. And the design philosophy was kind of clear from the start to make um, packs that would make it easier for more people to come out. and. Um, we want, obviously, to make uh, backpacks and any equipment in a way that make them stand the test of time uh, as long as possible. And for us, we, we also talk about this emotional longevity. And, and that, uh, I think, is a key to make products uh, really be worn and used for, for many years and decades. And how the product looks and how it feels, we, we, we think a lot about and uh, we want to use materials and colors that after some time in the field they are rather worn in than worn out. Tjena, it's Friday uh, and I'm gonna show you the top lid on Kaika. The first version of Kaika had two aluminum frames uh, in the back as a support and we, we posed the question can we again make a technical backpack with a wooden frame construction and we, we had the inspiration from the first backpacks that Åke did. We tested many different uh, wood qualities and uh, in the end the lightest, strongest and most reliable one was uh, a birch frame that uh, is made almost like a, um, a piece of furniture or a skateboard with, with pressure. We were surprised actually that not only did it reduce the carbon footprint, but it actually reduced the weight as well. The frame has proven uh, itself well over time. That was 10 years ago, and now we are launching the third iteration of Kaika. And uh, again, it's about making the most user-friendly and functional and durable backpack possible. And the essence is still the same as Kaika has been. Kaika is a good example of how we think. We make products that should work over the long term and uh, we don't change for the sake of it, but we're also open for anything that we don't know and we constantly want to learn from users out there and from new technologies and as excited that we are about the products that we have today, we have a similar excitement of what we don't know today, but that we will learn the coming years and that will be visible in the products that we make uh, in the future. <laughs>